Namsha and Jesus of Sibegan and Oshel look Patagues in Basha, Ganya, Nomkaka, Wabatuaningi. Sivagashela Utsabani, Ongum Patsi with Lillian M. S. Johannesburg CBD, Oguze Asifundi Segaban to get business like him. He might look young, but he's a, he's a dynamite. Sipindes is a bezan and a bongo, so what's a BM consulting? Also, says a saga banding in company. I came. So, what I do mean a company near waiting Caesar Ama companies to comply. Nalom Tetolo or Bizon, what he brought base BE. Boba Billy Labosoma business, Baso Bevara Shelly Studio, Okozo Tinita is in Kinga, Abasanga Bezana Naso, Kuma business Yabo. Africa, Ibalo Gusisanu said GDP as Africa. Epinde Ibalo goes zero point seven per cent, where GDP M. Shabeni Jigelele. Ganye, Nago two per cent, where Zimbasha is the Seswini as in a pentagon battle. Gapezu Gugu Mangasuzo, Tabumanya Amazwin, in Ningism Africa, in Omkaka, where Zintelo, as it's to get a cool, where Zimali, Ganye, Nimbaso Zimbasha. No, asset management uh, is quite complex, so at the current moment, I don't have the relevant information with regards to asset management. Even the companies are being evaluated through their asset and stuff like that. So asset management is more important to the companies. Lomkaka uvele with Simo Som no to Esip Tai, Uguze Ubegan and Nkukugo yes in Dela, Kanye, Nogukukuga with Simo Sabatengi, Aba Ingozi, Kotua, Aba Nezi Tingo as in Ningi. My understanding of assets is equipment, like business equipment, money that goes into the business. A black economic empowerment is in your tail, as you can't get away, who mean was a ningism, Uguza Sikazulule, Emikaulo, Egate is as well. Toko Vumela Abantu Abantundu, Bekwazi Uguba, Yikaza Lom Noto. B is a black economic empowerment. B is there to help black owned business enterprises and giving them funds for them to be able to pursue their business ventures. Is it difficult is a PE? The Solagala Kunoma EEP verification agency. Evunyelwe ESANAS. Lomkaka Okulango Kshesha. Jemo Bagufumbuga Ama Agency. Ama Ningi Apanangalo Lulusizo. A business support services industry. Umkako Balega Kuluga Kulugi. Utinagela Mazula and Safufusa. Afan and Jenga Lila like I. Osuma business abangan. Batinga Usizu Maguza Gules in Gay Fan and Jenga Lis. O asset management. O financial management. No business laws. Pala Poki Konagi Besevens Elakon. Namsanj. Osuma business bed to Gababil. Pasevens are one agalum kakalo. O Kanistan and I. Ubon Kosi. In Sizwa, a seven zela lana ge kuli. Because Gusan and I get business like it. Giz or Gutil and Kunta. The Kulmangan. I was born on the 6th of August 1983. In 1991, I think, uh, my sister and I uh, left Middlelands to stay with our parents in Shawela. Ukula no Wongosi was sometimes interesting and other times it was challenging because um, so I would take uh, the mothership role. Umpumi <laughs> played a role gama mom. She would make sure that, for instance, in Patazam the school was clean. That in police she did that too. And in the homework. Oh, mama, best night last night was cool. Because we last night we were because she and Okoko, so the school and Okoko in Midlands. We bring balance on our weekends. That's over night on our weekends. Lento go to a car. Be bang in it. Be bang and be bang warish because we bang and baba mom be bang in it. So in Jalumas Vagashi Lum Ganga Bamantona Bakanabana Macamerabo and the Tina Numpumi, Slala Pansi, a Karaj. Yeah, Miss Slala Emma Rumi, Nature Blane, but it's cutting this thing who won't go speak by Shalago Git. I remember one Saturday afternoon in Bulabe Ketugun. I was walking Numpumi going to the shop and I picked up a Turin note and I said to Mbumi, I want to give it to my dad because I want him to buy us a house. Okay. 
bongo siku ti ahamba ayo tenga masuiti nga doma na zang watu saiti wutu nga na abuye na ayo ingini pika soba wake beza chwa ilu kuti nizu tenga indu enku ulu nonke nebe na ma petro mzwe inu wati baba na ima luzo eta ima lini iye mantenga indu ya so gimi wabon nisa kuti bongo si uzo ba o baba o raitu wa unta no responsi buru maga kuru Ngakule le sondweni, and ngaba active ngakule sondweni and doing the youth. So these are my guys. Yeah. Ika Sileli, where I grew up. Oh yes, this is my daughter. Say hello. Hello. All the way to my daughter, um, who has a lot to say. I'm gonna take you guys to a place in Chilagu, where she sanyama. Bongosi has always been a Bongosi. He's a very humorous guy. I want to say I'm and that sort of thing. He's never been, he's never been an uptight kind of person. He out. Bongosi no tepo. Oh, baby, kulo mabanga kedi. Mang jelang amapupo wa bo, and I would have to listen. I think there was always that anxiety in him. Even when we were working together, he always had little things that he was doing on the side, like he ran his own car wash at some point. Mang vuga exeni, I know buti. That I need to fend for. So therefore, I I work hard. But I always say to Abantu, there's there's a number of young men in Bamentora. I always say they must not rush into it because Gunzi ma ubi palanza when you are running a business. Because it's cut you we are hand the kaya for days a wuko. Namkanyengise Remsek, zohlanga na nubo nkosi, umpatu wenkampa inevizo ngoktua EPM Consulting. Kumbulege yena agepele agela po makai, usize inkampa ini, kalu ngektua EPE Compliance, yena usebenzele kai, agenge nika pa chitoku sana ngeza makbiznis. Put, yemo. Usebenzele kai? Yes. Yo vislako, lila uchalako. Yemo. Kai nzizu. Kusebenzi sana ganja nige gongi uluka, ngabu isisi kasi utu melu sebenzi ufuruku lala wenu. Look, um, it takes discipline uh, to begin with. Yeah. But there are two reasons mainly why I work from home. Mm -hmm. uh, the first reason being that um, as a small business coach, what I've realized is that a lot of small businesses yeah. are on infant stages. So yeah. say between year one and year two, year three, um, people tend to take a, a lot of um, um, overheads, mm -hmm. which then chokes the business. That is why you find that even in studies that have been done, yeah. you find that Tama Business Amanini fail within the first three years or so yeah. of, of, of them starting up. Mm -hmm. In order for me to mitigate such risk, mm -hmm. I decided that I was going to work from home. Mm -hmm. And then um, another reason is that really I don't need to have an office, I'm a consultant. So I go to my client's premises and I consult from there. <laughs> projects. Oh, right. yeah. So what I would do is I would put together a team of consultants yeah. who are running their own small show. Yeah. And then I seven again choke business. Because of cash flow reasons in small businesses. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to partner with people within the same industry so that my Pele project. Uh, I can then disband um, the, the, the operation as it were. Yee, miga shishe leyo, osi zingamba ni ngayo. Gwa apela siya lizwa lilika mo pii pii la nala. Sita wanga maa ekpa. Yee, hee. Aukaze ka shege lento enzai. So what I do, mina, i company ni ame, uguti nisiza ama companies to comply. Nalo mte tolo obizo nguti i broad base pii. Mba inzala ma strategies. Uguti, because it made a score on a scorecard to show you compliance about to i government aid to show a compliance about to ama companies that do business with them. Yeah. Yes, as a business team, I say support the EPE, I support the EPE, I must be given opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, I have a strategy for compliance. I have a trainer. I'm an in-house consultant. If you want to do business, 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 you want to do compliant. You want to do certificate, lab. You see, I started my registration documents with Kamban. Uh -huh. I'm ID, documents certified, uh -huh. one my shareholders. Uh -huh. If there's a shareholders agreement, it's a shareholders agreement. Uh -huh. 
and then basically see I verify law my documents which are they true and correct no go to law mund law mund omnyama remember mund omnyama according to EPE we're talking about Milanawe Africans we're talking about Indians we're talking about Kalads and most recently South African Chinese go 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 the industry abantu abane ngabayazi yeah umuntu angangena kanjani ke kuyona if 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 anyone would want to pursue um be e, 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 as a career in terms of whether being a data practitioner or an analyst then ivets is offering um a, 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 a certificate on that aye but ngesingena ngaphakathi ke ngibone ukuthi uma udusebenzela ekhaya khamba njani yeah this is where the hundreds are made as a small business mm-hmm. by all means we think we minimize our cost mm-hmm. but it is going to think seven as an example for an example ginale see this this is the material i give to abantu mang ba trainer okay baba phuma ku training this is the cd that they get yeah so we call them seven zamla yeah so ke amathuluzi ke ongahlu uthi ngawadinga ke uma ngabe uthi kaye ususe emsebenzini ukuthi ke amathuluzi kanjani ke wakho I too am a tool is one thing I have. Yeah. I'm thinking about machine law. Laptop? No. No. Your brain. Pen. He... I... This is what I'm going to do. Yeah? Thank you, this is cut. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I can't get it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Okay. 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 You bring in the information sufficiency audit. Mm-hmm. So you bring check if I I prepare the number documents, and I'm gonna explain the verification process to them. Mm-hmm. But now that I've got my documents, so I'm gonna learn from today moving forward. Yeah. BM Consulting is very important to us. They provide us services with regards to our BE verification. I'm not too crazy about senior, middle or junior because the, the construction sector scorecard is not interested with levels, but it just wants to know are they in management, yes or no. It's very, very important to have somebody to guide you in the right direction and BM Consultation makes sure that we take the right steps. I'm going to take this file with me so that I can do that whole sufficiency of information check. Yep. I will then do a report, um, which is going to give us an indication of what score is it that we're going to get for the next audit. And then I'll draft the report after that and I'll send it back for your review. After this, we're going to take the file to whoever we nominate as a verification agency. Okay. So we'll do a formal application. Yeah and then um, they will get back to us with quotes. We'll then sign off. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. What makes you different to other verification agencies that are in, 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 in the same space? I don't believe in blanket strategies. Welcome back. Umango Simzila, usa insizwa keza kele uka maili shega kulu glom kaka seven za gwana. Epi nsue ni pele, gulu kuni ka kulu ge pele, ukta isa ge ama services, then ukta isa i product. Kwa tuwa gele insizwa le, pela gyo nisi tube ka kulu njenge business consultant. Esi za gabanyo suma business ngo kufokasa kuma PE na bo transformation laws. Yo kulu misana na atu kusichela uti business laki, ni kula ganja anigyo na lengkundi. Umango si is all about PEE. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Making Moves. Thank uh, thanks, thanks for joining me. This is the the Lions Den, where we we have the difficult conversations with entrepreneurs. Let's talk about how you got into the Triple B E Consulting space. Five years ago, I realized when I was part of a verification um, uh, company as a verifications manager there, I realized that a lot of black people. Uh, or the intended beneficiaries of PE, so to speak, were not um, aware of what this PE thing is and how actually it's supposed to benefit them. So I then developed a two-year plan to try and navigate uh, the industry and, and build a case around my sentiments. I mean, I would see guys coming to our office 
the ones about Rana, the small businesses which we call the exempted microenterprises. Uh, coming to our office uh, and say, they would say to me, no, we are here to register for BEE. So uh, it would seem like BEE is some place where you go to and you register as if you're registering for a house or something like that. But it uh, because um, one realized the, the unintended ignorance that uh, was there. Uh, I then decided, to look, I have, I have a moral obligation to do something about it. The nice thing is about it is that my moral obligation had uh, 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 profits <laughs> coming with it. <laughs> okay. You know, you can argue about what the initial motivation was. Okay, so, Grant, Grant. You you have a marketing background. Yes. Angit. You got a job with a BE verification agency. Yes. Worked there for a few years. Yes. Saw a gap. Yes. And went after it. Yes. Do people take you seriously in this space? Because you're, you're fairly young. You're, you're 30 years old. Well, they do. Okay. I, I think the type of clients that one has um, shows what uh, you know, people do take, take me seriously. What makes you different to other verification agencies that are in, 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 in the same space? Look, I'm original. And um, I think what, what sets me apart is the fact that I don't believe in blanket strategies. I come into your business and if I have to do an initiative for you, I do an initiative that is in line with what it is that you are doing so that you are, you are seen to be adding value within your, your industry. Whereas you'd find that, I mean, 60% of my clients are in construction. I wouldn't go to a construction firm and do an enterprise development initiative on filming. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't serve them. What's the big vision for a BM consultant? My vision is to create an outfit that is going to be a force to be reckoned with in this market. Um, you know, people should think solutions and they should think transformation solutions to be specific and they should think BM consultations. What do you need to take your business to the next level? I think I need a team. Um, I would have said I need money, <laughs> but maybe that's not enough. I think I would, I would give anything to have a team that will understand the vision, that will take ownership of this business and make it their baby as I have made it my baby. Um, this business does need a, a few team players. For instance, I need a salesperson. I need uh, a person who can do HR issues when we've got staff, uh, take care of training of my employees and so on and so forth. So I think I would, I would do anything to have a, a team that understands where BM consultation is supposed to go. What are you going to do to, to bring those things on board that you need in order to grow your business? I'm doing that every day of my life. I'm out there speaking to different people and trying to mobilize this team that I want to, uh, to bring on board. And the interesting thing is I'm not only looking at people who are in the BE space. I'm looking at people who, who have been strong. For instance, as an example, I took a guy who's, a, who's, who's very strong in merchandising, who has taken many different products into big retail shops. And I've, I've put him, uh, I'm putting him into my team. And one may ask, how is that guy relevant? He can, he's relevant because he has taken products into shelves and he can take BM consultation into many tests. So uh, that is really my thinking, taking people with, from different disciplines and trying to put together a team from those people. Thank you so much, Buran, for chatting to me. I'm gonna send you off to meet your coach and have a little bit of a discussion and then you can give me feedback and tell me if you've learned anything from your Making Moves experience. Thank you. Bongos is going to meet up with Busisom Feka, MD of Bua Concepts, who will give him tips on how he can grow his business. We'll catch up with him later. Right now, here's our dose of inspiration in the form of our weekly wisdom. You're going to start off into to, to business. Number one, understand you're your greatest asset. Your business can only succeed to the level that you know how to make it succeed. The more you know, the more your business can do. Number two, give it 100%. Don't try things. Either you do it or you don't do it. And if you believe in what you're doing, the third one is very simple. Don't quit. Don't quit until you get there. I'm a client to a cartoon who make book get born and now in season saying man in a 22 years is also near the advice with me lessons in game mad say to who is a squad with his two years a pambil. He might look young but he's a he's a dynamite.
Also, we are making moves. Kona lago se pisiwa nemzansi for sure. Si pinde si guamugen. Successful asset management can save companies time, money, and lots of management headaches. Inga ngo utaba ngi boni logo tipu ngona ngi nego na gelum kakalo. Gemba utama nyama pisiwa wa kipewa fulid. Aye avalo. Kenge kenga zugu tige imali ibinga tui nuagal. Gemba gashalege le downtown e kolige. La kona ngi boni logo tipu pisiwa ke li kulu mangani. Kanga tifu tu kufunda. Kama solutions la wamanye ge awani gaza ezinyi kampani ase mizisa na naso. Ikamau tabang mlangi ni, lasi kwa nchi sasa la nat, ikaslami, kula ku family sisi ku mama, melaspon, kwa nukutwa mumta la utami, usiswami, usindi. Sambo nani? Aibese kuba imekinini. Sikule si endi nikula la wui mu mama ukoko, na bandona basi kwa. Sawa ni. I was like, I'm going to go to five. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. But I have respect. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Kami kalau je masih lah, mereka cool lah, bo. Kami rapek je ni, bengun betul betul tu betul lah. Ya bo, mami am ten days mula di mana le kau ni. Oh mama, ini kita bengai share, you know. Bo share na yo from everything, even no mucho, dah bo share na everything. She was like, the guy friend ya. Es tahu ni gua last pon. Bega mtanda kakulu, ngobite ni mbishalit. Mengisho na mina, utaba nuzo tatalo kia bo. Ukula wakunga fektile kakulu, you know. Kwa zi, yele angen zuguti, nga relax mpilwe, nga za sendu guti. I may be having a short time, no, mama. So I need to make sure that we don't come up with now. No, we think in phases, no, we think in agreements. I be proud. I need to make sure we think when I fast as I can. Ubu, we wa kama rumu. Ente like progress ya kiko. The relationship with my mom was so close, it was packed like this, you know, because I was able to get even in the first campaign, I was able to get out of the way, I was able to get out of the way, you know, just to make sure, just to give that appreciation to my mom, thank you for everything you have done. Thank Nasi cari, begu muntu, ente kaba sugula, kaba kubu, kaba maramanj, at least, kaba kupu asiswa. And then this is the house that I built for my mom, just to tell, just to say gue nya bonga, ngazonge sintonge nzele zona, and yeah, being na guba close na, cause begu munde being close na. Mi tanda kuku mina, ubu bismi sinya pjable, langaza tenga shusubal. Uh, it is a business. I think it's something in Azalwana, you understand? Because Indo being it under from in Sakul. Mundo Zazi, Utia, Piganja, and Funa E, Usua Whoop. There's not a guy who two turned there like a slam. A Bishkala and I, Dennis Akala, Sawashama has been because we have seen the opportunity which we can make a mass send in, you understand? And then it's a Puma from Guru and Ole, you want a young nigger to go and do good. No, I can make a living out of the situation in Guru, you understand? Oh, I'm always pointing out, come on, Tom Bazaar. Munto Tandu, you are both Tandu spend a week in this unnecessary. I'm a rosy, impassioned. She's in Tesla, Mara. Yeah. I am Tandu, man. If I need to have, I will go right. Is 
Mutual Business Flexibility langsung ke sana koran usaha bisnis wet. Osis sama bisnis suku tu onge imal, bagi investor kuma aset. Aku kau ke sana nalom pay mungkin sama bisnis. Jis suku tu onge itu, iham bagan jangan lelai bisnis lah. So ke lagu yang zagalan ni kita semua unje. Ah, basically this is a business place. Okay. Hub. Ah, ila basi za kwa namu sana kwa le business ya kwa tina sisi safufu sana kwa namu tuzo bel. So la basi provider ina kina ma basic services, basic services la au watu ina namu sana kwa la kama itas kwa 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 Ah, ini yang kita utama ngan dah wenai wan. So wenai kita kip business kita sebenar zila kupi. Ah, ini lele. Welcome to lele ni mana associate. Ah, so ini last sebenar zila kau nak kita sebenar. Yeah, lele ni mana associate. Ah, ini zawa pokey pahu chon. Yeah, yeah. Ya chon. And then I'm pang petrosis uzam. So I hate my guitar. Yeah. Aye, ini jaza. Sorry man, we didn't see this. We got to go shopping. We didn't see any zungam. We got to go and get a bucket. Yeah. Aha. I just put. I'm going to need our seven zela. You know, I get. I'm going to sit in with this. Puma and I'm going to talk. Oh, okay. All right. Daily business like Kolele, Ulili and M and Associates. Man, you just want to take two and nine and zalis and take two or asset management or payroll, no bookkeeping. Come on, do you think I was busy with the whole thing? I could do it. I won't tell you when I'm at the party. Unk has the name. You need to take the name and zalis. Uh, okay, man, Kalil Ililian M and Associate. Being for look for Kasaka cool look for Nisaban to Moguba, a company been my assets. Even a Uzo was what he eat global. But then a bono would okay. He assets, he had Melana Nabo and Abu keeping cause of was Uguas when I'm assets or Melua take. I understand. So I bond okay. As soon as I bond how to manage him, Malsa, I understand. And what to Bawas would be businessman getting mal accept a column and they are born. Uzo was would invest the woman assets. Kuti ama businessi, enze lento lezo okulu mangazo kuti ba investi mali zabo kuma assets. Ni intano kuchala ba noma okulu mano ma yego pengine ngiti reinvest or profit moja semna. I understand. The mapping is a good thing. That's the profit that you can do. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Because you can do it. Because you can do it. So, you can build a foundation in your business. So, you can do it. 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 I'm not trying to work at any room, make book, get born, and nine years of singing in a twenty two years. Is those near the advice with me lessons and game mad say to who is a squad with two to get a pumping? Eh, who bands a mark or cause custom or one more book plan and a band of a dal. Government sometimes to come over ruling and in the last point, sometimes in the last point, I call ruling and anna. So I'm making a song and me prove for what I'm a chore this day. I was a song because I make seven seconds in funding, wanting, attend a mass seminar in Jalus Casting, telling it in Nami, I develop a mass song. I've Googled him and I've seen his company profile. Mm -hmm. And the clients that he has, he's already got good big clients, which mm -hmm. when I refer and ask for reference to say, hey, is Tabang a good uh, SARS guy? They recommended him very well. Mm -hmm. And so far, what he has done so far for us, we are very much uh, happy that he is doing a good good job. He, he might look young, but he's a, he's a dynamite yeah. in, 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 in bookkeeping yeah. service. Ulu azilu wako yes, nga kisibia kuti aluko nzulu kakulu gulo mkaka logoan. Pela kwa hizi katibaya wikulu mwuta bantu bangena goma tesha hariba. Kwenebe figile mkaka bagu yonage. We na lo wako ya uzangu wa fundel. So na matla enti na bantu sebe nzisana na boge. Habanya bantu kepela la. U sebe nzisana no ba nige. And then futike we na lo azilu wako njogo bunge nalo. Utinofi ya ganja nda ukona manji. Na banting sebenarnya nak bengkung fikir ni nak show kuting bring ama ama aset ke company ni lengan kulu manga kau. Abang dah sebe nama qualification abah kau yang salong jang abah 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 join. Abang dah sebe tilang alor abah buat buat bookkeeping, na buat marketing. Then mesti pin dengi benda nama partners. Abang dah bawa mangan masih A. Abang dah ingat okay putih night line tekan jeng saya kau jual surface. Since one two three four five when figure saya apa tu lah so figure dah. And then it's deliver good line. Nama company futa tilang abah buat 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 bu
my fixed asset management. I'm going to do something about it. Be nice. We call on the board again. We so in your temper, we will already get this on the bank. Hamba na wege kyo bon we will mutla na matla into akoge wenza. Amen. How are you? How is it? Ah, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Okay. 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 Leaflet, ne? Oh, so okay. I'm gonna give them a call. They said they're gonna deliver good like that, like this, maybe tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, tomorrow morning. Yeah. Like that. So, which means it's a new stock that's coming. Yeah, it's a new stock that's coming. It's an and express it's a line and a, and a, and a, and a noble. Yeah. And a noble. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. No, no. I'm not stressed again. Oh, okay. No. It's in those record again. I'll pack my yeah, assets again. Eh? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Yeah. So, I'm going to Basically, what I do here is I'm going to record the story of the CHA. I'm going to a quantity of the CHA. I'm going to a when I get like higher, nobody ends and I'm is this kind of business later? Is it profitable now? You know, in terms of the the feedback I'm going to my client, and the more I want to be able to understand, I'm going to assert my majority in this particular my assets, and then buyers are going to be able to come and 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 come I'm a client, the more things are going to enter into it. So, I'm a little bit of a young man. I'm a little bit of a young man. But you're not an accountant. Why am I taking financial advice from you? From you. It's not sometimes the, the, the only part I always say. In the 22 years. So, like, <laughs> on top of all of that, why am I taking advice from you? Tabang decided to take up the challenge without any formal training in accounting and asset management to try and help other small businesses to manage their financials better. Jenga Manji, Usa Studio, Utokusana Nozawe to Upepsi, Ngago Gonke Loko. Tabang is industrious and he's got street smarts. His background is actually in PR and marketing, but he spotted an opportunity in the asset management space and he went for it. Tabang Shapu Zhuangot Yaga. How's it, boss? Shap Shap. Right. Welcome to Making Moves. Thank you for having me. Surely, mang ne mali, I can go go take all my own assets again. Okay? Yeah. So now, why why do I need you? The problem is most of the people, you know, you, you know, umundo funuksi swanga yonkinle. I always always say like that, you know. Because people may be in Mali right now. Let's say um, the people that will come to me, Tabang, how did you start a business? And I'll tell them this is one, two, three, four, five, you understand? And Tabang, now I need, uh, I've got 50,000 in my bank account. How can I maximize it? I'm one of the greatest guys that are always telling people. For me, what I do, I just maximize the profit that is in the bank and always find the ways how I'm going to do those things. You understand? That's why I'm owning the number of the businesses. So now, if you say, Tabang, I want to start a catering business. You can't see you're starting a catering business. You don't have even any spoon in any fat to go nana. You understand? You need to make sure you understand those things. So now I just help people to get fun. If you have this man, don't use the 40,000. Just 10,000, buy the assets, and then maybe with this one, just invest it or just put it in a bank. Because of what, when you get another project again, you can use this money with these assets. And when you get that project again, and then you can, um, until you grow, don't rush. But you're not an accountant. Why am I taking financial advice from, uh, from you? It's not sometimes the, the, the only part I always do. In the 22 years. So, <laughs> like, on top of all of that, why am I taking advice from you? I'm a problem solver. And then can I invest a lot in myself. I go a lot of uh, finance uh, classes and I learn and I implement. That's very important about me. I implement. When I see this thing fails, I move to this thing. I am, I'm one of the guys who likes to implement stuff. And why? And from a PR and marketing into uh, in, uh, into assets, understand into into accounting. When I get to accounting, I hire the right quality people. That is the best about my business. That very I'm hundred percent sure that the people that they've got qualifications, they end that. 
highly skilled. And then now, my skill is it. What I love about marketing, all those people, if you're, not an, if you're an entrepreneur, just be a marketer most of the time because you are marketing your business. For me, I hire people. If you bring your books, they will do your books in, them in a day. For me, it's to get more clients and convince more clients to come into my business. It's how I do it. Cash is king end of the day. So I don't have to sit down. If Richard Branson can build the aeroplane for me, then I'll go back and go in, into the shop and become a CA. Because 100% sure, Richard Branson, he can't build the aeroplane, but he's having what? Planes is having the, 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 the island, but it doesn't know about those things. Sure, so sure, sure, sometimes sure. we don't need to be Listen, like that. That's a fair point. Richard Branson owns an airline, but he doesn't build aeroplanes. Do you feel like you are qualified enough to be able to look at an accountant's work and say, to, hey, but you haven't done the right thing here? Yes. You know what? If, if, if I say you invest in your company, it's not about the tangible, sometimes with the skills that you hire. And every day, what they find, you must know everything that is happening in the business. That's very important. Don't let your business be run by other people and you're not being part of it. So I'm, I'm part of everything that is happening. Sometimes I'll tell you, you that it is, because when you do the, 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 the things, sometimes I'll take those things into the audit, to audit. I've got, the, I've got, I've got partners, that's why it's Lydian M and Associate. People don't understand when they associate because I've got auditors. Sometimes the things before they go to the bank, they're being audited if this thing is being correct. So you can't bypass me. And then, so you, if you cheat me, you cheat for the client. And they are only telling people that my business, it's your business. Take it as it is, you understand? So when I'm being there, I understand everything about assets because I'm being part of the business. The business is within me, and I have failed because I've seen this, okay, this is what they have made me to fail. So I understand better. So sometimes I would tell you, okay, fine, to do these things, not join, I remove these things, put this thing here. And the biggest challenge that you've got with growing your business? Uh, definitely it's an age. First thing I need to make sure that I prove myself that I'm 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 I'm, I'm matured as they are. Most of the people, because when I, I when I come, I don't I don't have um car, but the appearance is always the, 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 the case. Um, you know, so I look like I'm serious. Yeah, I look like I know, know what yeah, I'm talking about. You yeah. Know, sometimes, yeah. so I make sure that um, I, 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 I prove and uh, myself that I'm matured. Is that I, I, I can't I can't run away from that. Wherever I go, I need to prove myself. You understand? Okay, okay I'm, I'm going to send you off for your coaching session, okay. and then afterwards we'll chat, uh, and you'll tell me go to Funieni, and if you've learned anything that you can take and implement in your business. Thank you so much. All right. It's time for Tawang to spend some time with Travelin' Saint, a consumer financial education facilitator from Nedbank, and they'll be discussing how best to grow Tabang's business. We'll talk to him after his coaching session to find out what he's learned. Welcome back. Bongosi is back from his coaching session. And as we all know, it's really important for entrepreneurs to sometimes just spend a bit of time talking to someone else about their business and getting advice and, you know, just vibing with someone. Gents, how was the vibe? The vibe was good. Yeah. Um, Bongosi is a man who knows his business very well. He understands what his business is about. Uh, he's been in this business for quite some time until he started his own company. So he knows it very well. What feedback have you got for him related to his business? Yeah, the, the, there are a few things that are, I wanted to highlight um, for you to, to look into, especially because in your business, you say you work alone uh, at the moment. Obviously, we are thinking of growing the business um, so that you can get more clients and all that. But one of the things which have become a serious problem for your business, as you mentioned, is the issue of cash flow. And a thing that I identified in our discussion is that you, you do not have some kind of a debt collection system. So what I want to propose to you or to suggest is mm -hmm. that you, you come up with some form of a system. For example, you can contract a debt collection company. Uh, there are small companies that do that. So collecting cash from customers is a problem? Yeah, well, look, there, there are instances where, you know, you have to be chasing an invoice. I mean, I've had instances where a person says, I've, I've paid you, and I, I would say, no, but your, your payment is not reflecting on my, on my bank statements and so on and so forth. So you do find those um, isolated cases of people uh, not paying on time. One of the beautiful things that I learned from him is that he's got certain days in a month 
which he has set aside to do invoice with me. You know, so I think that is a plus. But you can extend that by getting other people to do it for you. Also, you spoke about the fact that you do give workshops, but now your workshops are not accredited because you're working with verification agencies and all that, but you have training from SANAS and all that. I want to propose that you probably set up a division within your company that will focus on training specifically because that could be a money spinner for your company. And especially because you already have the background in terms of verification, in terms of being an assessor and all those things, just to get the, the QMS into place and get yourself accredited so that you can have that as a division of your company because we are doing that already. So this is a being QMS in fact. Quality management system. Okay. Yeah. I was just for the rest of us who don't know what QMS right. is. <laughs> it's fine. I know you say uh, you work with kind of customers that pay on certain things. Others, especially from a government point of view, they take long to pay. Um, probably you could have those those customers where the, you have a prepayment policy where they pay you uh, before you start the work. Obviously, it goes with the credibility that you have built with them and the trust that you have built with them. You could consider that. I also like the idea that you have decided to use your home as your workspace. You know, that it helps you in terms of not paying rent for office space and all that. But at the same time, it might work against you in terms of credibility. Because other clients, they will look into that and say, no, this one is not yet serious. We can't deal with someone who works from home. So you might be thinking in terms of growing beyond your home. Obviously, as you grow your client base. Fantastic. Buffett, thanks for your time. Thank, Thank you for your inspiration. Much. And I hope making moves was, was helpful yeah. in some way or form. Thank you very much. After the break, we chat to Tabang Mlangeni, owner of Lillian M and Associates, who's going to be coming back from his coaching session with Traveling. He asked about who wants um, to spend He asked some if he can take people money. to lunch um, uh, and use uh, the business money. Welcome back. The owner of Lillian M and Associates, Tabang Mlangeni is back from his coaching session with Travelin. Travelin, Saubona Mama, welcome to Making Moves. Thank you, Bonga. Good one. Thank you, Pila. Yeah, Pila. Yeah. Sharp. Let's talk about what you covered. You speak mainly from a financial education perspective. Yes, I do. What did you cover with Tabang? So Tabang and I spoke and um, identified um, some needs in terms of uh, drawing up a budget, um, identifying the different types of expenses um, as a fixed expense, variable expense, and an unforeseen expense. And then we spoke about wants and needs, also making sure that he understands that he needs to uh, separate his business and his personal uh, expenses, etc. And then um, he asked around different types of investments um, and what um, the financial institutions can assist with in terms of investments. He then asked as well around um, if his company or his business um, requires assistance how we can assist him with that. And so I gave him examples of overdraft facilities, etc., that we can assist with. Uh, apparently he asked about if he can buy suits through the business. No, he what didn't. What did he ask about? He, wants um, to spend he asked some if he can take people money? to lunch um, uh, and use uh, the business money. So I said, yes, that would be allowed to go through the business. Um, but he didn't ask about suits. Okay. <laughs> um, he asked about lunch. Yes, you can take people to lunch <laughs> as long as they're business people. And you can run those expenses through the business. So is there anything that, that you're taking away with that you feel can change the way you run your business? Um, I think I can, uh, the point where I think I got clear is a budget. You know, I think it's one of the things that is, um, it, uh, uh, I was struggling a little bit with it. Because, you know, some, sometimes if you're starting a business and uh, it's a small business, most of the time a business become, you become one with your business. It's so hard to separate your expenses and the business expenses, understand? Sometimes you just uh, cover the business and then sometimes you take those little bit to pay rent, to pay wife. So now she, 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 she spoke about Tawang need to separate, have two sheets and the one that is for uh, personal and the one for business and uh, be real to yourself according to that uh, a, a budget because sometimes we set a budget which is too big but we know that we can't even manage that budget that is the one that caused a downfall and uh, in terms of the investment when i ask her 
how do I invest a little profit that I'm making on my small business? And he said, no, sometimes you don't need to, you know, we karma, you know, uh, you need to make sure with at least, uh, even if you can manage 1,000, but just test yourself with this uh, 500, 500, and then we talk about the short-term and long-term goal. And then um, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm wise now. All right, Puti, so you're feeling a lot more empowered to go out there and, and make a difference in your business? No, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank you very much for coming on to Making News. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Traveling Nyabonga Mama, thank you for sharing your experience with us. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks very much. I really appreciate Nyabonga. All right. Thanks for watching today's episode of Making Moves. We hope that we made you realize that business isn't always about age, background, or qualifications. Sometimes it's only about determination and the will to make it happen no matter what. Catch us again next week. Making Moves, SABC1, Zanzi, for sure. The experience I'm um, go making moves uh, was great. Uh, in terms of uh, my investment and in terms of um, with some uh, expenses and be more go profit and go be real to myself as an entrepreneur. No, we think was a good thing. There are ways we can go and go as we think couple and I am a so guess. No, we think business like we will go in the pambel. The experience I'm making moves. I think the view of business I'm going I think we've been an opportunity to go to reflect and be. The business go to be happy, and then was with his bosom bozo about business. No go to fun go to happy. So I think go to any pe ito balo go to ni ni was with pege move go to. Kasi kasi le business be happy. From the 11th of May, Making Moves brings you a special phenomenal woman series. For 13 weeks, we bring you stories of young female entrepreneurs who are writing their history in the world of business. I'm not crazy about the name Porsche. Yeah. Do you know Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Do you think they thought this name will one day be a giant in the industry? And trust me, generations to come, you will identify with Porsche M. Pepsi, come back, come back. Oui. Don't miss these stories of female power on Umsansi's number one business show, Making Moves, inspiring a generation of entrepreneurs. <laughs>